I'm in Bethesda where officials are talking about the importance of raising the minimum wage nationally. Good man. Welcome home. Governor Martin O'Malley, U.S. Secretary of Labor Tom Perez, and Montgomery County Executive Ike Leggett recently visited Bolico in Bethesda to highlight the fact that the fast casual restaurant starts its employees at an hourly rate higher than minimum wage. We start at $9. The average is $11.50. During the lunch shift, the government officials went behind the counter at Bolico where they rolled up their sleeves to make some burritos and some guacamole. That's where they also talked to employees about the issue of wages and benefits. This is a great company and this company understands that it's actually good for their business to do right by their employees. Whether it be wages, whether it be bonuses that we provide, every single employee in this restaurant is available for a bonus. Um, transportation benefits that we provide, 401k match, so we look at it as what can we continue to do to improve their lives in the future. People like Patrick, uh, large big box companies like Costco, uh, companies like The Gap, uh, mo most recently um, IKEA, are demonstrating time and time again that you can do good and do well. What we see here today is a prime reflection of the work that we've done at the state level but also more importantly what the president and others are doing at the national level as it works to workers, their abilities to earn for their families. Secretary Perez also thanked the governor and county executive for their leadership on minimum wage. Since the president put his pedal to the metal on the minimum wage a little over a year ago, 13 states and the District of Columbia have raised their minimum wage. So many counties like Montgomery County and Prince George's County here in the nation's capital have done the same. And, and a recent study showed that in these states where you have seen raises in the minimum wage, you've seen job growth. For MyMC Media, I'm Sonia Burke.